Before they were named Interplay Entertainment, Interplay Productions sent out this VHS in 1997, showing off their biggest releases of the year. I haven't watched it yet and don't know what's on it, but I hope you enjoy. Interplay 97. By gamers, for gamers. From the company with a history of creating classic games, comes an entirely new lineup destined to revolutionize gaming. With state-of-the-art technology, cutting-edge features, and unmatched gameplay. Prepare yourself. 1997 is a us. In the hallowed tradition of Phantasmagoria and the beast within comes a harrowing event of epic proportion. which is the length of a feature film. It's great fun when you've got so many different featured roles, so many villains, in that one week you might have Florentine around, the next week you have Belial. And each of these actors come in and they're very entertaining and um, they have a great time. They really love working on a horror project because it's very different, very out of the ordinary. It's a huge game, massive. Sound-wise, it's a very rich project indeed. Characters, backgrounds, all props, uh, storyboarded. I think it says a lot about what's, what's to come for the game. The 3D graphics and the silicon graphics, very impressive indeed. As soon as you get to the blue screen, it all goes up in the air, because then you suddenly start to realise that the, the shots that you've conceived, you've conceived in a conventional way, and you're now in an unconventional environment, and you have to readjust. I get the raw footage, um, I crop it, resize it, make it fit the scenes. It's applied with the backgrounds from within the game, and then remove the blue screen from the characters add the special effects and make the whole scene look as though it, it does exist. The level of sophistication is increasing all the time. This is pretty new stuff. It's very ambitious in the amount of it that it has, and it's a good, it's a good mix. It, it, it seems that it's going to link very well with gameplay. I think that's going to happen more often. Productions are going to become larger, they're going to become more complex, and the qualities that you see in film and television will be expected. CD-ROM projects. Realms of the Haunting is an exciting, horror, scary, action adventure. In the battle between good and evil, there is only one force that can thwart the power of darkness. You. Kirk. Chekhov, Sulu. Before they were legends, they were cadets at the most celebrated training facility in the universe, Starfleet Academy.
Join forces with original cast members William Shatner, Walter Koenig, and a special appearance by George Takei. for answering my summons. It's the ultimate Forgotten Realms Advanced Dungeons and Dragons role-playing quest. Turbocharged with the incredible Descent Engine. Enchantment of Mist, the intrigue of Seventh Guest, and a graphics engine so powerful it'll render you speechless. When plagues rise from one's own hand, the end of life as you know it is near. The gate has opened for the seventh time. You mortals have struggled for nearly 7,000 years to find an end to suffering. 
You must know by now that between the worlds of light and darkness, the past, present, and future exist as one, and the story that is told is created in your own image. Pictures come alive, then half the world, drenched in blood, will die. At last, strategic combat that combines the best in customizable units, realistic 3D graphics, and tactical multiplayer action. This is only the beginning. Interplay 97. Buy games. Four games.